This is Max Goldberg from Living Maxwell, and I'm at the U.S. Open Tennis Tournament in New York City, and it's a real thrill to be here with Gary Hirschberg, the CEO of Stonyfield. Thanks so much for being with me uh, today, Happy Gary. to be with you, Max. Well, it's a real pleasure because one of the things that Stonyfield is doing is Stonyfield has a cafe at the U.S. Open in the, in the food court. So, Gary, how did this come about? I know you guys were sponsors last year, and you've increased your sponsorship. Could you just tell me a little bit about how the cafe came about and what was the impetus to increase your involvement? In the, uh, in the tennis tournament? Sure. Well, first of all, I'm a tennis player, uh, life, a lifer, and I know that most people involved in fitness actually don't know how to eat well. And you know, you can't, you can do exercise all day long, but if you're not eating right, if you're putting toxins into your body, you're just not going to be healthy. Yeah. So last year we brought to the open organic yogurt. We gave out 150,000 samples of wow. our Oikos Greek yogurt and grew our market share in New York by like 30%. Um, it happened that I have another life, which is that I ran something called All Naturals, now renamed the Stonyfield Cafe, which is an organic and natural fast food cafe. And I could see the folks here, you know, it's wonderful to come out to a sporting event and have your hot dogs and your sausages, but people can't do that every single day. And so we're, we've added to the complement here by bringing a completely organic and natural fast food alternative. And to be honest, we're blowing out. I mean, we've actually been out of stock. We've had many, many days where we've still been trying to figure it out. The first few days we doubled every single day. Wow. Um, we have uh, a, a soft serve uh, frozen yogurt here, tart frozen yogurt that we can't keep in stock. We have an organic um, chicken tomato mozzarella basil sandwich on organic flatbread that is flying. Our smoothies, we have organic honesty. We even have organic uh, beer, peak organic beer here. Uh, it's clear we're here to stay. The open is, is blown away by our numbers. Uh, we're up, I think, now 100% over what they did here at this same location last year. And we're talking to them about putting it in other venues here. The other really funny thing that's happened is the Mets walked over here, this, the, the chairman, uh, the, the head of uh, food services over there, and his team came over, and they're thrilled. And now they're talking to us about being at City Field, and other sports uh, venues have been coming in as well. I think this is really the dawn of a new revolution in, 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 in uh, food at sporting events. Well, that's, that was leading to my next question is, you talked about the Mets. Do you see uh, the Stonyfield Cafe expanding into other sporting venues and, you know, different aside from tennis? Uh, well, do we see you in football and uh, <laughs> other sports? Well, you know, I've now learned to never say never. I mean, the truth is, is that where we were heading down the road of putting these in hospitals. We have one at the Brigham and Women's Hospital in Boston. That, again, absolutely popular because you might imagine healthcare workers they know, they you know, they ream out arteries all day, right? They know what they should be eating. Uh, I, until two weeks ago, I don't know if I could have answered that question, but now I see the potential is, is enormous. So, will it be in football stadiums? Who knows? I mean, football folks need to eat well too. You know, you, you know, we're we've got a situation, Mac. Where now, according to the President's Cancer Panel, 41% of Americans right now are going to have cancer. One in three children born after 2000 is going to be a diabetic. The percentage of Americans who are obese is now greater than the, the percentage that are overweight. I mean, we now know we are what we eat, and we have to eat defensively, and what we eat will kill us. Uh, and uh, and I, when I say we, I mean, average folks now know this, that they have to balance their diets with, with, uh, with goodness. And of course, organics continues its incredible skyrocket. So, I don't think there's any place where this couldn't be. Think airports, think uh, sporting events, uh, who knows? And, and, and we'll figure it out after we uh, recover from this amazing, yeah. amazing two-week adventure. Well, I'm not surprised at all that the numbers are great because this is, this is really what people want. And uh, you know, we're seeing it everywhere. Organic food is the biggest growth uh, in within the food industry. It's the biggest category uh, that's been the growing uh, the fastest. So I'm not surprised at all. Stonyfield is a fantastic, fantastic brand. The products are phenomenal. And just uh, you know, on behalf of me and all the people who love organic food in this country, you've just played such a huge role in organic food and making it what it is. And uh, I just really want to thank you because. Uh, you know what life's work. Yeah, but what you're doing is, is so important and you you know, when you talk about organic food in this country, I mean your name is at the absolute top of the list and I just really want to thank you for everything you've done and uh, I really appreciate it. Well, you know, I, I, I'm not just a business guy, I'm a father. Mm -hmm. And you know, it's bleak when you look out there, the world that we're leaving to our children. Uh, business really is the most powerful force on the planet. It really is the force that can make change. 
But the reality is it starts with every person. You know, we, we grow this business one spoonful at a time, one <laughs> soup at a time. I, I, I always use uh, Gandhi's line. He said, uh, anyone who thinks they're too small to make a difference has never been in bed with a mosquito. Right. So everyone out there should just be a mosquito, buy a little bit of organic, add it to your diet, and you'll, you'll help to uh, save the world. Yeah, I couldn't agree more. Well, thanks again, Gary. Pleasure, Max. Yeah. This is Max Goldberg from Living Maxwell. Just remember to buy well, eat well, and most importantly, live well. Thanks for watching. Thank mm -hmm. you.